What is your name? I'm Christopher Cook. And your position? And I teach on the Temple Programme here in London, and I also teach on the Syracuse Programme in London. And I generally teach cultural studies uh, and in particular aspects of the mass media. Okay. And would you kindly offer your opinion of the program and what it has to offer for students? I think the Temple Programme is extraordinarily good. What I like about it particularly, as an outsider, is that it's very focused. It takes a number of important areas like British cinema, British mass media, travel writing, uh, and so forth, and looks at these as discrete areas, but somehow all of them, I think, open doors onto what it's like to actually be here in England, in Britain, and indeed in London. So you see, they're tight, neat little courses, but they open doors onto the whole business about being abroad, being in a particular place. Okay, and what would you say is the biggest perk of study abroad from your point of view as an instructor? Oh, from my point of view, it's the opportunity to meet successive generations of Amer young Americans. Um, many of the people who've come on the Temple Programme have become friends. Uh, you know, I've been teaching on it a long time, and I now know they have children, and I'm waiting for the moment when their children join the programme too. But really, it allows me a kind of wonderful rolling snapshot of what it's like to be young in the most powerful nation in the world and a sense of what the values are that young, idealistic Americans aspire. So I feel immensely privileged. And one last thing, if you teach young people, when you get to a certain age, and I'm not giving away my own age, when you get to a certain age, your students do genuinely keep you at their age, and that you approach the world in a much more youthful way than you might if you were only sitting in an armchair with your own contemporaries. And what would you offer a student that is thinking about studying abroad in London? How would I persuade them? To, yes. to, to come. I would say that you need to remember that you're not only coming to sit in a classroom, you're not only coming to do lessons, um, though you are doing lessons in a classroom with someone who lives in the place that you've come to. So that's a sense of, of finding another perspective on the particular subject you've chosen. But you're also coming to one of the most extraordinary cities, frankly, in the world. This is a world city, London. It's utterly different from anything else in uh, the United Kingdom. It's diversity, you know, more languages spoken in this city than any other city in the world, more foods to be eaten than there are days in a year. All of this makes it a unique experience. And there's something about the geography of London, too, that makes it special. London was a series of villages that simply grew like Topsy and eventually joined up. So it's a series of overlapping neighbourhoods and communities, each of which is different from the other. You know, I always say to students, the best way to do things in London is to go and take one of the bus routes from end to end. Go and take the number 38 bus, for example, the brand new route masters, from where it starts out near the Olympic Park in the east end of London and travel all the way. That is a kind of major part of any educative experience you can have in London and that's part of why you ought to come here. Okay, thank you.